Hello mate, thanks for clicking on this video. Um, EA Play is now part of Xbox Game Pass and I wanted to just clear up all the information surrounding the two. The last video I did on EA Play came out before this announcement, so before I knew anything about it. So since then I've had quite a lot of questions um, surrounding the memberships, how they two have transferred, um, which games you're going to get in uh, on Xbox Game Pass and all that kind of thing. So I just wanted to make this video to detail all the, the key points of information between this EA Play merger with Xbox Game Pass because it's not quite as simple as the two are now the same thing. So let's clear everything up. The main thing is that currently EA Play is only available to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate subscribers on consoles. So Xbox One, Xbox Series S and Xbox Series X. Even though your Ultimate membership includes a subscription to Game Pass for PC, that element of EA Play isn't coming till December, but it will come eventually. There are some questions as to how you'll play those games on PC because obviously EA Play has its origin client for its own PC games. Um, so it's not clear yet whether you'll be playing those games on origin or on the Game Pass app, Xbox for PC app. Um, but we'll wait and see. We'll find out nearer the time, I'm sure. In December though, Xbox Game Pass for PC players will be able to get access to those EA Play games, even if you don't have the Ultimate subscription. So for anyone that doesn't know, Ultimate is the £10.99 per month, the most expensive subscription, which you get Game Pass for console and PC. Then you have Xbox Game Pass for PC, which is I think £8 a month. Um, which will include EA Play, but EA, but Xbox Game Pass for console won't include EA Play, unfortunately. But if you are on console, you could extend your membership to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate um, without having a PC, um, if you think the EA Play games are worth it. So I'm going to just run through those games. Um, the, the big one that they announced the same time this uh, merger happened was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, but there are some omissions as well from the library that are big EA titles that aren't on there. So I'm just going to run through the highlights real quick so you can see what you get with this EA Play membership. So it's easy enough to navigate to the EA Play library. It's embedded into the Xbox Game Pass app. So if you go down here, you can see all of the games. Um, and obviously, as I mentioned, that big new addition was Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order. Um, and there are a lot of other big AAA EA games on here. You will actually find pretty much the entire EA library. There's very few emissions. Um, so you've got like the latest Battlefield. Titanfall 2 is definitely a highlight. Um, Anthem is not, but that's okay. <laughs> they've been kind of laid out weird. I don't know why they've jumped straight into the Xbox 360 games. But... Uh, Basically, these top two lists are, are pretty good. The Sims 4, Titanfall 2, Battlefield 5, UFC 3, the latest Need for Speed, Skate 3, classic. Uh, a Way Out is a co-op adventure that I've heard is really good. Um, and then lots and lots of older Xbox 360 EA games. Uh, Dead Space, Dead Space 2, very good. Um, the Dragon Age games. And I think, did they have the Mass Effect games on here? Yeah, Mass Effect 2 and 3 and Andromeda. Basically, the library is very similar to EA Access, if you had that before. That was an add-on to Xbox, not, not part of Game Pass, but an EA subscription, um, which I think was £3 um, that you added to your Xbox. And you it's basically the same. So the Battlefront 2 games, for some reason, are all the way down here. Maybe it is. I think it is um, alphabetical apart from like this bit. Yeah, it is. So they've put these at the top um, and then it goes into alphabetical. But for some reason, they've left Battlefront all the way down at the bottom and Rocket Arena. <laughs> not sure about the uh, the alphabetizing of this list, but, you know, there's, it's not massive. Plants vs. Zombies is pretty good. Um, Rocket Arena is OK from what I've heard. Zuma is a classic. Unravel and Unravel 2 are pretty decent. Um, Rory McElroy's PGA Tour. Peggle. Anyway, I'm not going to go through all of this, but if you do want to see me break down um, the highlights of the library and what I actually think about them, please go look at that last video. The big omission is the most recent um, 
versions of FIFA and Madden because these are locked to the EA Play Pro subscription, which is not part of Xbox Game Pass. Um, these will drop down to the base subscription. I'm pretty much 99% sure of that, but it probably won't happen until sometime in spring 2021. I would imagine March or April. That's the that's the time, maybe a bit later than that, actually. That was the time when FIFA 20 and Madden 20 dropped down into this EA Play base subscription. So like I said, the majority of the EA Play library is on Xbox Game Pass now, uh, minus the latest editions of FIFA and Madden. But based on the reception of those games, I don't think that's a massive loss. There are a few others that I might just pop up on screen if um, there are any decent. And EA Play, the base subscription, at least until this point, has gradually gained more of the games that were initially on EA Pro, Play Pro. Play Pro. But I've spoken a lot about it before, how I really don't see the much value in EA Play Pro for the price. Um, it is a better subscription because there are games um, on there that you can't get anywhere else. But for the massive price increase, I just really don't think it's worth it. Anyway, um, that's basically all for now. Um, one other thing was another previous video I did was on converting EA Play subscription to Xbox Game Pass Ultimate, um, similar to the Xbox Live Gold to Xbox Game Pass trick that was going on for a while. That was only um, that was that only worked before this um, merger. So previously, if you had any existing months of EA Play on Xbox or at least linked to your Microsoft account. Um, X, Microsoft would convert that into Xbox Game Pass when this happened. But as far as I'm aware, that doesn't work now. Um, I'm not totally sure, but I just maybe wouldn't risk it. Anyway, that is everything now. I will do another video like this when EA Play comes to Xbox Game Pass for PC because there are a few games exclusive to the EA Play PC membership. So a couple games like Ultimate Chicken Horse is the only one I can think of off the top of my head. Mini Metro. That's really good. Next Machina, very good. There are a few games like that. Um, nothing major, but there are a few games that are only available on the PC version. But if you were debating whether to get um, Xbox Game Pass Ultimate for an EA Play subscription, if you are on console, for example, just know that a certain few games won't be available to you anyway. But you know that already because I just showed you what's on EA Play for console, so I don't know what I'm doing. I've only had one coffee today. As for why Xbox Game Pass for console members don't get EA Play, um, I don't know. It's another addition and another incentive to get the ultimate edition of Xbox Game Pass, which I understand, but then I'm not sure why they're giving it to Xbox Game Pass for PC subscribers and potentially giving them more games. There are, it does go both ways, so there are a couple UFC 3, for example, is available on the console version of EA Play, but not on the PC version. So I'm not sure if that's a development thing, um, or I'm not sure of the, you know, the reasons for that, but it's a shame for Xbox Game Pass for console players, because they don't get this, all these fun games, unless you pay that extra £3 a month, in which case it's the same as having the old EA Access subscription anyway so it's not really a benefit the way they're projecting it is but you know it's their marketing department what do you expect so hopefully that's cleared up i will clear any other questions you have down in the comments but i don't think there will be any uh there might just be no comments at all that's the <laughs> that's the uh that's the way things are going at the moment but it's okay i'll see you on the next one stay safe out there we just hit a new high for daily uh, uk infections so it's looking like a cold, solitary Christmas, but uh, I'll be here. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.